Welcome, my name is Dr. Kunde Bulle from the ALS Dermatology Group in Belgium. I would like to present to you a paper entitled Patient Factors Influencing Dermal Filler Complications Prevention, Assessment and Treatment Written by myself and Dr. Isolda Heiderich from the Cape Town Cosmetic Dermatology Center in South Africa. This paper is a result of the work by an international consensus group with colleagues acknowledged in the manuscript from Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, Greece, Israel, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Russia, South Africa, Turkey and Ukraine. Whilst rare, complications do occur with the aesthetic use of dermal fillers and I have in recent years received an increasing number of referrals from many colleagues from around the world. Cosmetic surgery is an elective process requested by the patient. Clinical trials are complex to organize and run, and it's probable that adverse events go underreported. Hence, sharing our knowledge is critical. The international group of practicing physicians came together to consider the literature and pool their extensive clinical experience. Careful attention to patient factors and technique can do much to avoid these complications. This manuscript therefore summarizes the crucial aspects of patient selection. Some of these data are published, much are anecdotal in an effort to share what knowledge we have. Guidance is also given in this manuscript on both immediate and longer term management of some important adverse reactions. There remains, however, no consensus on the best treatment from the adverse reactions and each treatment option with its advantages and disadvantages should be carefully considered and discussed with the patient. The manuscript is split into several parts with a comprehensive reference list. I myself wrote a manuscript just over 10 years ago entitled Management of Complications After Implantation of Fillers, which was published in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology. I would refer you to the reference list we have included in this manuscript, specifically those papers written in very recent years. We have included references to practical issues, reviews of adverse events management, as well as some referring to the etiology of specific complications. Here you find some examples of uh, conditions that we are dealing with in our manuscript, like in this um, intravascular injection with a typical um, advent of pustular um, elements indicating imminent uh, necrosis. The uh, procedure to avoid this type of uh, complications, of course, is aspiration, and we cannot underline this more than enough. Of course, lumping in different um, areas and in diff to different degrees are of uh, major concern as well. Um, biopsy might help us to determine the culprit, mm -hmm. and also uh, infections of uh, fillers are discussed in our manuscript, like in this case with uh, infected uh, filler in the marionette line, and where you can extend and extrude the um, filler um, as such. Of course, hypersensitivity and chronic lumping, chronic swelling after fillers are discussed as well, and this is a, a typical example of a patient suffering from a long-term uh, reaction after filler injection. We have included a table developed uh, partly from the literature where available and from our clinical um, experience. Um, this was done to start to encourage some consensus and dialogue on specific medical uh, conditions if they would be contraindicated, um, treated only at physician uh, discretion based on presenting history and symptoms, or if currently there appears to be no apparent contraindication. Having said this, a treatment must be at the discretion of the physician whose informed judgment is paramount. We included four complications which we felt to be the most important in terms of recognition and proactive management. Vascular occlusions, allergic and hypersensitivity reactions, infection and then also nodule formation and granulomatous reactions. The information we provide includes avoidance strategies, recognition, immediate management and taking these adverse events through to a positive outcome or a positive conclusion. Thank you for your interest in our manuscript. We do welcome further correspondence and dialogue on this topic, which is critical to the effective and safe use of dermal fillers in aesthetic medicine.